The experimental design work on a new variant of the Russian amphibious aircraft B-200, which is outfitted with domestic PD-8 engines, is scheduled to be completed in 2027. The director of the Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade announced this on September 12, 2025, following a visit to the Taganrog Aviation Plant, where the B-200 is currently manufactured. It is anticipated that the first aircraft to undergo this modification will be introduced in 2028. The term remotorization is often used in the reports that follow the minister's visit to the Berif Taganrog Aviation Scientific Technical Complex. Nonetheless, the phrase is somewhat inaccurate. The installation of PD-8 engines on the B-200, which was previously equipped with D-436TP engines from Zaporizhia, Ukraine, is not a straightforward process. It includes the integration of a new engine control system and the modification of structural and dimensional discrepancies between the engines. As a result, a new aircraft modification is being developed from 2025 to 2027. The spring of 2025 saw the emergence of information regarding the development of a new version of the B-200 with Russian-made engines, which had already been tested on early experimental, import-substituted passenger superjet aircraft. On May 30, 2025, Alexander Kurenkov, the head of the Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations, announced intentions to expand the flying fleet of amphibians to 16 units. This will involve the acquisition of six new planes equipped with the PD-8 engines. The new version of the aircraft is designated B-200CHS-8. The first plane's rollout was anticipated to take two to three years. The PD-8 engine is a perfect fit for the B-200's design envelope from a technical perspective. It has a fan diameter of 1.22 meters and a length of approximately 3.6 meters, which is similar to the D-436 TP's 1.37 meters and a complete mass of about 2,300 kilograms. The older engine's specific fuel consumption in cruise mode is 0.64 kilograms per kilogram force per hour, whereas the newer engine's is marginally better at 0.61. The takeoff thrust ranges from 7,477 to 8,056 kilogram force, which is nearly equivalent to the D436 TP's 7500. The PD-8 is a 100% Russian-made engine, which enables its unrestricted installation in any location and in any quantity, without the need for foreign suppliers. This feature is of the utmost importance. The modernization of the Taganrog plant has been prioritized in addition to the technical overhaul of the aircraft. Anton Alekhanov, the director of the Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade, discussed the upgrading of the plant's infrastructure to accommodate the anticipated production increase upon the first B-200 CS-8 entering service during the September 2025 visit. The acting governor of the Rostov region, Yuri Slyasar, affirm the technical re-equipment of the facility to increase the serial output of aircraft. Russian-language news sources also highlight Turkey's interest in this new B-200 amphibious aircraft variant. The minister stated, We have a lot of interest from foreign customers. I will not name them all now, but they are also very much in demand in Turkey and in several Asian countries and there will be deliveries to Algeria in the coming years. Therefore, we will definitely be actively financing and developing this area in the near future, and we will provide the plant with work. According to recent reports, Turkey perceives the B-200 CHS-8 as having potential for use in search and rescue missions, maritime patrol, and firefighting. Turkish officials have been closely monitoring Russia's progress in the development of the PD-8-powered B-200. They find the aircraft's capabilities particularly appealing for their operational requirements, especially due to its compatibility with domestic components and the flexibility of procurement. This interest is consistent with Turkey's broader objective to diversify its aviation assets in a way that is resilient to geopolitical pressures and evolving supplier relationships.
Since 2023, negotiations have been underway to deliver the B-200 to Turkey. The Turkish interest is centered on the establishment of comprehensive technical dialogues with Russian manufacturers, which may include the potential for collaboration on maintenance and operational support to customize the aircraft for regional needs. According to Turkish sources, Ankara is contemplating placing orders for the B-200S-8 contingent upon its successful testing and certification. The purpose of these orders is to deploy the aircraft during annual fire seasons and to improve maritime monitoring in the Mediterranean. The contract for the delivery of four B-200ES aircraft for the Algerian Ministry of National Defense was concluded in 2021. The first two aircraft were delivered to the customer in December 2024. The remaining two are planned for delivery in the coming years. Algeria uses the B-200 for firefighting and rescue operations. The export version is distinguished by adaptation to local operating conditions and additional equipment. Attempts to export the aircraft have been made in the past. Contracts were executed for the delivery of 15 B-200CS amphibious aircraft to the United States and Chile during the Hydroavia Salon in Jelenjik on September 8, 2018. The contract stipulated that the United States would receive four aircraft, with the option to purchase an additional six. The first two B-200s were intended to be outfitted with D-436TP engines, while the remaining aircraft were to be equipped with SAM-146 engines. Nevertheless, this agreement was not executed. The project stopped as a result of the absence of certification for Franco-Russian power plants in the United States and the embargo on Ukrainian engine deliveries. In conclusion, the B-200 with PD-8 engines is an important development in Russia's amphibious aircraft capabilities as it combines a proven airframe with newer, entirely domestic engines. The project is making substantial progress toward its completion in 2027, with the first flights scheduled for 2028. The potential export interest, particularly from Turkey, underscores the regional significance of this aircraft and Russia's expanding role in aerospace technology that no longer relies on foreign suppliers. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.